Okay, so we're back now. We've got our new switch mode power supply control IC with built-in switching transistor. And we've got a brand new 47 microfarad, 400 volt, 105 degree capacitor. The existing capacitor was the same rating, but it was only an 85 degree. So let's pull the cap out first. Give it a bit of gentle persuasion. Let's give it some more solder. Give it a nice fresh solder. And there's our cap. Let's get the solder out of here. I know it's not the best thing to do to bang the board like that, but that's okay. We can fix it. Okay. Okay, so there's our new capacitor in, over there, now the switch mode IC. Okay, well it's sort of in. Take one of the legs along. I'm just give a bit more control. Okay, I've got one that didn't want to go in. Looks like I've got a just do a resistance check. Okay, so that one's a bit run through. Through. That one's through. And there's a little whisk in the way, get rid of that. This one's running together. So I've just got one. 
just got one track that needs to be fixed. Grind a little bit of the solder mask here. So now, let's double check if the trace is complete again. No, oh, that's good. Let's trace. 15k resistor. That's good. There's two traces down to the sphere. That's good. This one down to this view. Okay, so those traces look all good. Hope that didn't go out of focus too much. Also, just going to solder and touch up some of these on the back quickly. more of a strain relief because I don't see any tracks on this side of the board for that power I see. Okay, so there we go, that's in. Okay, so here is our Behringer unit again. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna connect the load load side yet. Until I am sure that the power supply is stable. Okay, I switched it on and I've got... Well, I've got no way to see. I expected lights to come on, but I... Didn't realize... Oh, I forgot that I disconnected the load.
Okay, so let's see if I've got power coming in here. Nothing. I wonder if we took out the fuse as well. Okay, now in this unit, hope you can see it there, the switch, is, I mean the fuse, is in the main IEC sockets. Fuse, one amp, top H, two fifty volts. Yes, it is unplugged. Sure. Okay. Just do a resistance test on the fuse quickly. Ah, fuse is. Fuse it. Okay, so let's pop a new fuse in. Okay, no bang. That's always a good sign when you've got no bang. I'm going to try to switch my tester back to volts, AC. Resistance check is bad when you hook it onto mains. Okay, 230 in. Yeah, it's got a 20 volts DC. And if I understand it right, pin one, red is ground. Thirty volts, four point nine, fifteen, zero, pin five ground, pin five, six and seven. Okay, let's try that one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that's five volts, and three point five. It's close enough. Nothing to touch there. Thank you. The voltages all look within reasonable spec. Okay, so now the real test. Ah, we've got lights on. That's responding. Let me take a free hand. Okay, so if you look over here, it is alive. Do a recall. Yeah, it's got all my internal. Yeah, it's all got my configuration there. Lights are good. Lights are responding. Okay, just out of interest's sake. Very difficult to do two-handed. Okay, without being drained onto the chassis or anything that heatsink or that regulator, 
switch mode controller I mean okay without any heat sinking the switch mode controller is running at about 47 degrees and the plus and minus 15 volt regulators are running at also about 43 degrees okay so that all looks good I'm going to put the power supply back together close the unit up tomorrow evening I'll go reinstall it at the venue and we'll see if it passes audio Okay, so let's plug in the Behringer Ultra Drive and let's see if it works. Okay, so. As you see, that's working good, sounds good, so I think that's a success.